Hello everyone. Today we have with us the co-organizers of an amazing conference called iScientist. Uh, starting with Sandra, who is a natural scientist by training um, and now a science manager at the University of Constance with the focus on gender equality and diversity. Then we have Marie Claire, uh, who is a PhD student of psychology at the University of Constance. And we also have Irena on the line, who is a PhD student of physics at the University of Constance based in Germany, all three of you based in Germany. So thank you all for taking the time to speak with me about the iScientist conference. And thank you in advance for organizing this amazing conference. Um, so about uh, the structure, what kind of sessions can, can one expect? If there are no scientific conferences with the invited talks and the keynote uh, talks about the science itself, what kind of different sessions um, are you guys organizing for the attendees? Yeah, so um, as you said, we have like three main formats. On the one hand, there is the sessions themselves that are organized through topics. For example, Sandra already introduced that we will have a topic in gender, another one covering LGBTQA+. Um, so this would be more like the standard uh, conference format in which we have a speaker, they talk. And what is different is that in this case, in, in most of the cases, instead of a standard Q&A, we will have what we call a deep dive. Uh, the deep dive is basically the speakers within the same session, they will be together on stage and they will be answering, it's kind of like a panel discussion, and they will be answering together also with a moderator the questions um, from the audience. So this would be, let's say, like the standard um, talk approach. And the sessions that we're having this year in this kind of format are gender. So we will cover gender, let's say, in science or in STEM or in academia. So what are the biases, uh, the difficulties, and so on. We will also have a session more dedicated to show role models, successful role models. And this is what we call the social entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship session. And we will have uh, speakers like Ursula Keller, which is, a, which is a successful physicist at ETH in, in Zurich. We will also have a session um, trying to, uh, to see or highlight how to have the fam a balance in the family and in the academic sy system, which is very important for a lot of people. What we also didn't plan to include, but we will at the end, is because we are going online and we are right now in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, so we will have a session on how does actually the COVID pandemic impact the gender equality because this, yeah, this is very new for us as well. And we think it's a very interesting topic these days. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, we will also have a session on uh, the LGBTQI plus minorities and how, yeah, to, um, to highlight or make these minorities in the academic system more visible, which is usually not the case, especially in high positions or usually one or it's hard to meet somebody in, a, for example, a professor or something like this belonging to the trans community, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And then what we also uh, planned initially to include uh, was a session on race in academia. Uh, but now because of the recent events on the, and all the Black Lives Matter movement, we decided to dedicate a full session uh, to this and which would happen on Saturday. Okay. Yeah, and Finally, what we thought is also important is not only to show, let's say, not the problems uh, or to expose them, but also try to find solutions. So because of this, we will have a session on, let's say, how to be a good ally. And this would be basically how can how I... Be help a good? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, how to be a good? Ally. So, ally. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So basically, it's, it would be like, for example, how I, as a white person, can I be a good ally for a person of color of somebody belonging to the LGBTQI community and things like this. And mm -hmm. this is how we will close uh, basically our last session for the conference. Uh -huh. okay. And yeah, but it's not, these will be the sessions that we discussed like more like talk, standard talk like, but we're also having a lot of networking because it's also a strong focus of the iScientist. Mm -hmm. And so we will, these, we have, these formats are really different from standard conferences. For example, the main goal of them is for the participants to do some networking with the speakers, but also between themselves. Mm -hmm. And for this, for example, we have a session, which is the open space. 
and basically the participants gather together in small groups and the goal is to create something so not only as an attendee you get inputs from the speakers but you also try to create something and the idea is for example they gather together and they try to find solutions like okay me what can i do in my work environment you know in my little office or as a phd student or whatever that i can make my workplace more inclusive or things like this so mm -hmm. this is the idea mm -hmm. and finally what we also have this year is a lot of workshops or a few workshops so um, that people can register for them in a separate uh, link and for example we will have workshop on for career advice or career perspective so okay now i'm in my ending my phd do i want to go on in academia or do i want to try um, in a company what skills do i need we also have a workshop for people that are engaged in science communication or that want to make women in stem more visible and yeah and also another workshop on how to be innovative and patent also as a woman which is usually ha not harder but there are not so many women in the company sector so mm -hmm. okay all right oh, that sounds like a super action-packed program that you have going there uh, even when going virtual so it would be there would be talks there would be workshops there would be panel discussions there would be networking opportunities there would be career fairs and black lives matter sessions uh, science communication session a patent uh, session so I, I can't I, I i think i think people have to go to the website and familiarize themselves uh, with the <laughs> with the program because it does uh, sound quite rich and quite exciting of course um so when is the conference taking place so it will take place from wednesday the 16th of september until saturday the 19th the 19th if i'm not mistaken yeah uh, 2020 yeah. okay yes 2020 <laughs> okay all right all right super so um any part words for from you guys to the potential attendees of the scientist conference we can go one by one if you have uh, a few thoughts on that <laughs> Just please sign up as soon as possible and we are waiting for you. We are really excited and we will try to make the event as interactive as possible. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Marie-Claire, Sandra, do you have any any parting words or welcoming words to the future uh, attendees? Uh, I think just that as a past attendee myself, as I attended the 2019 conference, um, I had a really, really good experience. And obviously, I, I came back uh, and I was really sad to, to sort of leave that that um, space that was, uh, it was super nice. I met amazing people there. Uh, I learned a lot and I think everyone else can too. So I think you should sign up. <laughs> okay, Sandra? Yeah, I would just add, come, see, think about, and then let's change the world. <laughs> okay, that's, a, that's a very powerful note to, to end this uh, this conversation on. So thank you very much, uh, Sandra, Irena, Marie-Claire, for speaking with me and uh, telling everyone what iScientist is all about. Uh, the link will be in the description, of course, to, to sign up, to register for the conference, which is taking place from the September 16th till September 19th, uh, so Wednesday to uh, till Saturday, um, 2020. So uh, everyone sign up and uh, see you at the conference then. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for, for having you. us. Hi, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>